The Andaman and Nicobar Islands conjure up images of a primeval rainforest teeming with rare fauna and flora, exquisite beaches, limestone caves, mangrove creeks and historic sites like the Cellular Jay. But little known to the outside world, there's a less explored universe lying under the sea. Journey to the Bay of Bengal in Asia and explore the magical Andaman Islands, a wondrous realm of stunning marine, coral reefs and pristine beaches. Pass through shimmering gates of coral and discover volcanic gardens of underwater paradise. Here, lions, unicorns and butterflies masquerade as fish. Dugongs play in the sea grasses of shallow reefs that fringe the outer islands and every dive trip brings the promise of exploration and new discoveries. The sea is a great space for life. Its inhabitants range from trillions of microscopic creatures. One of the most vital, intricate and biologically diverse ecosystems that support a plethora of marine life forms is the coral reef. Plankton, algae and fish of all shapes and sizes seek refuge and nourishment in these colonies that fringe the seashore. Besides forming a nursery and prime feeding ground for a multitude of marine organisms, the coral reef plays another significant role. It protects the land from lashing waves by acting as a buffer thus preventing coastal erosion. People assume corals to be lifeless rocks, but in fact, they are the hard, stony skeleton secreted by marine polyps, the best underwater architects of the natural world. Polyps are tiny, boneless, tube-like creatures that originated nearly 570 million years ago. Like a miniature tree with branches swaying in water, polyps splay their tentacles to extract calcium from seawater to build vast colonies of coral reefs. Most coral reefs in the Andamans are of the fringing type, occurring close to the seashore. So, if a single fragment of coral is an outcome of teamwork by billions of polyps over several years, imagine how long it must have taken to build a bio-network that spans 2,000 square kilometers. The diversity and density of the coral reef in the virgin tracts of the Andamans can be attributed to limited human interference. Given the fragility of the ecosystem, the Andaman administration has ensured a good balance between protecting these regions and simultaneously exposing some zones to the public. The marine museums at Port Blair, the capital of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, provide an ideal introduction to the region's marine life. The Fisheries Museum has over 350 species on display, while Samudrika, the Naval Marine Museum, showcases a large collection of shells and marine creatures. However, the experience of seeing them in their natural habitat is simply breathtaking and unrivaled. The perfect curtain raiser is North Bay near Port Blair, which has seven coral sites. Crystal clear waters ensure excellent visibility up to 40 meters. Most tourists opt for a ride in glass bottom boats. But to do justice to the marine beauty that lies beneath, nothing compares to the pleasures of snorkeling and diving. These gorgeous reefs in the Andaman waters harbor a complex set of aquatic organisms that defy human imagination in terms of shape, color, size and behavior. Which is why divers, marine biologists and adventure buffs from all over the world flock to the Andamans for its unlimited potential. December to April is the best time for scuba diving as the water and sky are clear and visibility is at its best.
The Marine National Park at Wandur is spread across 280 square kilometers, covering 15 islands, several creeks and open sea. The Isles of Jolly Boy, Redskin and neighboring islands offer facilities for snorkeling, scuba diving and glass bottom boat trips. The National Park has a good population of marine turtles. The annual phenomenon of turtle nesting is considered a must-see spectacle in the North Andamans. The seashore topography adds to the region's charm. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands are influenced by two kinds of forests mangroves or tidal swamps and littoral or beach forests. Mangroves are among the most productive coastal ecosystems occupying nearly 11.5% of the islands besides supporting a wide variety of both brackish water and freshwater fish. However, for a true taste of marine adventure, all head to Havelock Island in Ritchie's archipelago. Although these remote islands are a relatively new diving destination, the courses and facilities offered by the dive centers are of international standard. Dive India is the first paddy dive center in the Andamans and Barefoot Scuba, the first and only Paddy Five Star Instructor Development Dive Resort. Most dive centers like Andaman Bubbles, Andaman Dive Club, Blue Lagoon are clustered in Havelock, while the Lakadives is in Wandor, making them a magnet for divers. Dive shops offer a wide choice of courses conducted by experts. Classes are designed for both beginners and professionals and range from informal demos on breathing techniques and hand signals to fun diving, paddy courses, nitrox dives, night diving or special charters. After signing up, instructors and dive masters give a thorough briefing on site conditions, safety measures and flora and fauna of the area. Theory is over and it's time to don the wetsuits for a hands-on experience. Most day trips include two dives with packed lunch at sites around Havelock and Neil. The boat whizzes past the lighthouse towards Elephant Beach where the waters blend from sapphire blue to turquoise and lacy coral reefs lie submerged waiting for divers to get a taste of the deep. The aquarium, a popular dive site on the southeastern side of Havelock, is ideal for beginners. The shallow fringe reef with a depth of 12 to 14 meters is made up of hard corals. True to its name, aquarium abounds with fish including lagoon rays, groupers and turtles. In the water, the crew familiarizes itself with breathing techniques buoyancy and hand signals before graduating to the next challenge, an open water dive. Every day boats shoot across the water in different directions with fresh batches of dive junkies. Some fool around, others swing their feet over the waters or lie back to discern the many shades of blue between sky and sea. The sun rays splinter into a million diamonds and perform a cosmic dance on the waters to a gallery of lush foliage on the islands. The uncharted waters of the Andamans are undoubtedly the final frontier for diving. Dive centers have identified numerous sites around Ritchie's archipelago to showcase the island's marine wealth. Dive down to seventh heaven take a tour of Barracuda City, hang out at Bob's Backyard, spot sharks at Pilot Reef, 
surrender to the alluring charms of Seduction Point or plummet 55 meters down a massive submerged rock face called The Wall. The instructor runs through a final briefing before reaching the dive site. A final check of the masks, air cylinders and flippers and soon the divers begin their thrilling descent. While first-timers explore the possibilities of movement, the experts enact their own little underwater circus. They moonwalk, glide, somersault and show jump through rings of imaginary fire. Amidst the unbelievable shapes of coral and rock, vibrant fish waft up and down in slow motion as if enjoying a ride on an unseen merry-go-round. Finally, divers pair up to join the shadow dance of sun rays on the waves as they waltz across the seafloor. The coral reef resembles an exotic underwater tropical garden. The divers languorously drift past a variety of coral, the elegant finger coral and the massive colony of staghorn coral, the gigantic brain coral, with shoals of fish swirling like confetti around its branched antler formations. Tree corals lean from their perches on submerged rocks, as if watching a massive herd of stags with horns locked in mock combat. The magnitude of the coral reef is awe-inspiring. Often found attached to rocks or other substrata, sea anemones in the Andaman waters are also called flower animals due to their floral appearance. A luscious anemone gyrates seductively in the undercurrent as clownfish play hide and seek within its deadly tentacles. In a unique display of nature's oddities, clownfish enjoy a symbiotic relationship with anemones. The anemone's tentacles are lined with nematocysts or stinging cells that release toxins harmful to other species except clownfish, enabling them to cohabit peacefully. The bright colored clownfish attract smaller fish and zooplanktons to host and in return, the sea anemone protects it from enemies and removes small parasites from its body. This unusual association gives the clownfish its popular name Anemone fish. Corals and algae too have developed an inseparable bond. The carbon dioxide released by corals is used by algae to make sugars and oxygen which are essential for the subsistence of corals. In the dark mysterious depths of the sea, creatures must forge strange alliances in order to survive. A moray eel peeps out of its coral cave. Its mouth opens and closes menacingly to flash razor-like teeth. However, this is not a warning. This is the manner in which this harmless reclusive creature breeds. But notice the iridescent stripes of blue street cleaner rats flashing above its head. The eel has just pampered itself to a famous oriental fish spa. Cleaner rats have a peculiar habit of pinching off wound tissue, parasites and food from the gills, mouth and skin of larger fish, thereby earning a reputation as doctors of the sea. Several other fish like coral trout enjoy this underwater clinic. But survival in the deep is a game of deception and defense. Many species have devised various strategies to hoodwink their prey. The scorpion fish is one of the most venomous fish on the ocean floor. When threatened, the fish faces its attacker in an upside down posture, exposing its venomous dorsal spines. However, this tactic is used purely for defense and the sting is usually not fatal to humans. 
The devil scorpion fish is a master of disguise. Well camouflaged with tassels, warts and coloured specks, they have large heavily reached heads with venomous spines on their fins and back that inflict a painful sting. Mostly bottom dwellers, they look like pieces of dead coral or sand covered rock blending in with the surroundings and going unnoticed by their prey. Some species can even change their colour for camouflage and to blend in with their surroundings. The cockatoo wasp fish or leaf scorpion fish staggers drunkenly to imitate a piece of drifting debris. Hiding in shallower waters amongst sea grasses, it mimics a leaf moving back and forth in the current. The Andamans is home to some mysterious creatures. Easily mistaken for an algae-ridden rock or piece of coral, this bizarre creature with a sullen expression is the Indian Ocean Walkman. It doesn't really swim, but hobbles along the ocean floor with its fan-like fins like some prehistoric animal. The peacock grouper has large irregular blotches and small dark spots that form distinct diagonal bands across it. Its patterned body is its best defense. As a protection against predators, triggerfish can erect the first two dorsal spines that can be unlocked only by depressing the second trigger spine, hence the name. The pufferfish is another oddball in the ocean. Its strange ability to puff itself up to twice its normal size to frighten predators away has earned it the popular names blowfish or swellfish. After the golden poison frog, the pufferfish is the second most poisonous vertebrate in the world. The thick leathery skin covering its plump body is toxic to humans. It is so tough that it remains undamaged even if a grown man stands on it. The porcupine fish's tiny spines remain unseen as they are set deep in the pores. When agitated, the fish inflates a special sac in its body with water. As it gains a balloon-like appearance, its spines are fully extended, preventing predators from gripping or biting its body. When two brightly coloured fish of the same species encounter each other, it almost always results in a fight, where the intruder is either driven out or killed. Some become so incensed by the sight of another fish bearing the same pattern that the two sexes must fade to a duller shade in order to woo each other to spawn. Often known to change their shape, colour and even gender, parrotfish come in the brightest of colours ranging from parrot green to shades of blue, red and yellow. Bumphead parrotfish breaks off chunks of coral and rocky substrates by ramming their heads against it which gives them a flat bump on the forehead. After grinding the coral rock, they feed on it and excrete it as fine sand. One parrotfish can produce up to 90 kilograms of sand each year. Every nook and cranny teems and bubbles with life. The streams of air exhaled by the divers mingle with millions of bubbles rising from geysers towards the surface and burst like mushroom clouds overhead. It is mesmeric to watch these explosions shoot like comets across the interminable swathe of blue. For divers, encountering a large school of fusiliers is always exhilarating. They appear out of nowhere. And in a stunning display of synchronized swimming, zoom first one way, then another, and march around like a brisk band of gun-toting fusiliers, hence the name.
Often, fish are named after their distinguishing traits or physical characteristics. Butterfly fish are brightly colored with eye spots on their flanks and dark bands across their bodies similar to butterfly wings. Razorfish have a unique manner of swimming vertically as if perpetually standing on a razor's edge. The needlefish is literally needle-shaped with an elongated body and eyes placed in the middle. One look at its transparent glinting body will explain how the glassfish got its name. The long fin bannerfish has its own signature, a long white fin shaped like a banner that extends past its tail fin. Like a rhythmic gymnast, playing with a satin ribbon, it darts and prances, weaving its way through a glassy curtain of bubbles emanating from the bowels of the earth. Its uncanny resemblance to the Moorish idol has earned it the nickname Poor Man's or False Moorish Idol. The bannerfish has larger eyes, a smaller snout and pure white bands ending in a yellow tail, while the Moorish idol has a distinct tapered mouth, black tail and yellow tint in its white stripes. Here, the Moorish idol delves into a beautiful barrel sponge. Red corals with ridge surfaces lie scattered like large terracotta urns often found on manicured lawns. Some are embellished with feather stars and seaweed. A tiny school of snappers waft around these massive formations sculpted by nature resembling leafless filigree trees. Often, these clumps of hard coral seem like cacti in a surreal underwater rock garden. The seabed is literally landscaped with rocks, hard and soft coral, and swaying feather stars. Scores of fish glide over the colony of feather stars. Three sop dazzlers, grouper, parrotfish, and a large congregation of yellow snappers, which disperse in a burst of yellow. A troop of gold saddle rabbit fish swims harmoniously, the distinctive yellow spot on their dorsal end catching streams of sunlight. A stunning formation of powder blue tang circle each other giddily before disappearing into a coral crevice. But under a cover of beauty, this tropical fish conceals a poison-tipped weapon an erectile spine at the base of its caudal fin. A large tier of batfish sashes in the water, its body a striking contrast of black and white with yellow highlights on its low fins. But he isn't alone. Joined by a larger parade, they flutter around like large flags their bat-like appendages swaying gently in the current. Tierra batfish can grow up to two feet. However, their passive disposition allows divers to approach them for a closer look. Swimming amidst these exotic creatures in the Andaman waters is a sublime experience. Stalking an eight-limbed organism underwater is not easy especially when it's touted to be the most intelligent of all invertebrates. The octopus is the amoeboid phantom of the deep that waits and watches before it slinks away. Gathering its long, robe-like arms about itself, it moves like a dark-cloaked Jedi, slip-sliding and crawling over the rocks. The octopus has no internal or external skeleton, allowing it to squeeze through the narrowest of gaps. For defense against predators, it plays the perfect cloak and dagger game by hiding, fleeing, ejecting poisonous ink, or changing color for camouflage. The slightest movement in its surrounding triggers spasmodic tremors in the shy clams lodged in corals and rock. The impressive giant clam is considered 
to be the largest living mollusk. This bivalve has a vibrantly hued mantle which depends on the color of the algae that cohabits within it. In fact, the clam has its own pigmentation and the algae provide the backdrop. Back at the reef, old routes are busy with fish traffic. But the real traffic stopper is the oriental sweet lips. A study in contrast, the fish has zebra stripes on its body, leopard spots on its tail, curbstone yellow on its fins, with a dramatic slash of yellow lipstick. The shoal looks dressed up for a kitty party set around large multi-tiered plate corals. After lunch, a few sweet lips sneak under the table for more gossip. A big battalion of black-tail snappers cruise along the waterway while another small company intersects them from the opposite side. A vibrant train of powder blue fish hurry across to some unknown destination before thousands of fish take over the surroundings. Numerous fish disperse around a beautiful red table coral displaying its spread of secret temptations. A blur of anthias or fairy baslets flit about like pretty damsels in a pinkish red around a tall column of rock-supporting boulder coral and magnificent sea fans. Anthias display a good appetite for zooplankton in the wild but are rather finicky and may starve to death in captivity. The clown triggerfish is a work of graphic art. Its dorsal side has black and yellow polka dots and its black underbelly bears large splotches of white. A creamy stripe on its tail fin and bright yellow clown lips complete the look. This bizarre countershading adds a good shock value that can startle any opponent. A large battery of Barracuda performs a riveting military drill, moving their sleek silvery missile-shaped bodies in precision. These voracious opportunistic predators rely on surprise to overtake their prey and can reach bursts of speed of up to 45 km per hour. Out at sea, one can expect the unexpected. A sudden encounter with a wall of speeding fusiliers can make anyone gasp. They race away from a small group of suspicious giant trevally, which can grow up to five and a half feet in length and weigh over 200 pounds in just five years. Often mistaken to be snakes, Eels are fascinating creatures. Scientists categorize them into 600 species across 19 families, 18 of which inhabit the oceans. Measuring up to 10 feet in length, the giant moray eel is the largest of all known eels. They possess a powerful bite and their jaws open wide to swallow large chunks of food. Being brightly coloured, they hide all day inside caves or crevices in the reefs. At night, they venture out to devour octopi and fish. The ribbon eel is a moray eel that can switch its colour and gender over time. For the early part of its 20-year lifespan, the ribbon eel is almost black with only a daub of yellow in its dorsal fin. By some slate of nature, it acquires a ribbon-like bright blue body in striking contrast to a yellow lower jaw. What appears to be seagrass sprouting from the sandy bed is actually a colony of garden eels. Extremely timid by nature, they shy away from humans and retract mysteriously into their holes. Garden eels are slender creatures with big eyes and tiny nostrils. Hence, they rely on sight rather than smell 
to capture food. The vibrant Andaman waters is home to other slippery and extremely lethal predators. The swift whipcord slithering billow is the banded sea crate, one of the most venomous sea snakes known to man. Its scaly body is wrapped in silver and black stripes from neck to tail, which is flat and shaped like a rudder, making it an ace swimmer. Another intriguing creature is the stingray, which inhabits the bottom of the sea. Fossilized remains dating back to over 65 million years indicate that stingrays roamed the oceans long before the age of man. Named after the barbed stinger on its tail, stingrays move swiftly like low-flying stealth bombers. Though not aggressive towards humans, they may sting when accidentally stepped upon as they lie camouflaged in sand. Their markings too offer a good disguise. A blue dot stingray has greenish tan with pale blue polka dots sprinkled across its upper section while the marble ray's mottled pattern makes it look like a mosaic flying carpet rippling across the ocean floor. Another interesting inhabitant of the Andaman waters are dugongs, an endangered herbivorous marine animal. It is the state animal of the Andamans, also known as the sea cow. They are found in Ritchie's archipelago, North Reef, Little Andamans, Camota, Little Nicobar, and parts of the Great Nicobar Islands. In the 1950s, dugongs were common in the Andaman waters but the population has dropped drastically in recent times as evidenced by the sporadic nature of sightings. The Wildlife Crime Control Bureau and other NGOs are working together to prevent the extermination of this precious underwater species. Dugongs are extremely gentle sea mammals that graze on underwater grass and other aquatic vegetation. These ancient underwater creatures surface every 15 minutes to breathe creating sounds like musical notes. Being one of the world's largest mangrove ecosystems, the Andamans is also home to one of the largest and deadliest living reptiles in the world, the saltwater crocodile. Once common throughout these islands, today saltwater crocodiles are found in protected sanctuaries, wild mangrove creeks, closed bays and freshwater marshes. Therefore, it is advisable to be cautious while swimming, snorkeling or diving in tropical waters under due supervision of local guides and certified adventure experts. The Andamans is a veritable mecca for deep sea buffs. Snorkeling and scuba diving are not the only options. While the mangrove creeks are a big draw for kayakers, anglers from across the world come to spots like Barren Island and Invisible Banks to explore game fishing opportunities. Game Fishing India, run by a team of outdoor enthusiasts, provides superb facilities for deep sea fishing aboard swanky yachts. From customized fishing trips to luxury island cruises, anglers can pursue every method of blue water fishing with astonishing results. But sport fishing strictly follows a catch and release policy. Looking at the tantalizing blue veil that stretches out till eternity, one becomes aware of how little is known about this half-hidden realm. The Andaman Sea will remain an endless enigma. It draws one into its labyrinths of coral to swim amidst innumerable fish and life forms on secret odysseys under the sea. <laughs>